What is up everybody? Daniel here. Um, yeah, so uh, my anxiety and depression is getting worse. <laughs> um, uh, it's, it's not a good thing, it's not. And it's all been kind of happening since my resignation uh, as a firefighter. And it, it's not in the way that I thought it would happen. I was actually kind of happy. I was, I, was, I was in a good place when it happened. And with your guys' help, I was able to uh, basically make this more of my career and talking to you guys about uh, mental health and then do beginner tips and now camping stuff and actually have something really interesting coming up uh, this Sunday. So stay tuned for Sunday's video, a new uh, new video. Anyways, uh, um, it's been getting a little worse and it's, it's because of my socialization. I'm not socializing as much uh, anymore. And I've been at home, I haven't left the house and you always hear about people that are depressed, they don't leave the house, they don't leave, you know, their bed and all that stuff. And it always sounded to me like it was a conscious decision. Like, I'm not gonna leave today, I'm not feeling good. I always thought that's what it was. And because there, there's times where I wanted to go to, or I didn't want to go to work and I was waking up in the morning. I was like, I don't want to go to work, I just want to stay home. Like that to me was like a conscious, conscious effort. And, uh, for the past, I don't even know how long it's been since the resignation, two weeks, two, three weeks? Since then, I've left the house only to do errands. I've only left the house to do errands and ride my bike. This is it. This is all I've ever done. My my car battery died, so that, that's the most I, I went out to go get a new one, uh, to charge it up, to, and then I finally had to get a new one. But I haven't driven my car in over a week now. Since fixing it, since getting it done, since doing that, I parked my car and I haven't even turned it on. Um, same thing with the bike. I don't go riding uh, outside of, of making a video. And I haven't left the house. This is the first time leaving the house this week. And it's Thursday, Thursday morning, and I haven't left the house uh, outside for me for pleasure. I, I actually left on Tuesday to take my boy to, to Boy Scouts, but um, I don't... I don't, I don't leave the house and that's, that's actually becoming a problem and it wasn't a conscious effort. It wasn't a conscious decision to where I'm just not going to leave today. It's, it's always been, I have something to do. I'll do this instead. Like I was writing all the scripts for all the videos I'm doing. I was, I was, uh, communi actually communicating a little bit less on the discord. Uh, the staff recognized that, but I've been hyper focused on work. I've been just like work, 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 work. And the work as in like, I'm writing new stuff. A uh, new uh, uh, passenger riding guide, a new free ebook for that. I've been working on uh, a mail list, so if you want to join the mail list, I will have a description, a link in the description for that. Um, dealing with uh, uh, patron issues, like I, the international orders have been an issue. Um, so I'm, I'm figuring, I'm figuring all this stuff out, and it's like I hyper focus on that, um, and it's I haven't been paying attention to myself really. And I started working out quite a bit, so that's, that's helped me out with that. Because I'm used to the physicality of firefighting and the socialization of firefighting. You know, having to talk to patients, having to talk to people, live with strangers uh, that turn into family. And I haven't been doing that since the resignation. And it's really been a huge stress and, and strain to where it's like, I don't like being out right now. I'm actually, my anxiety is a little bit high. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn right. Chick-fil-A has free breakfast right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm a little bit nervous and just kind of the anxiety and like the anger is starting to come up and that's one thing also what's this person doing um, I'm having random bouts of, of uh, anger oh crap all right I'm just gonna turn into here maybe I won't get chick-fil-a because it is freaking packed over here um, so I'm, I'm getting like random bouts of anger when it comes to everything. Um, I, I'll randomly think about uh, what happened and I am not in a good place. It, 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 it pisses me off. It, it, it literally pisses me off. I think, I think about the, the time I was in the office and, and what happened like when they were telling me and it pisses me off and I start getting mad. It's like, maybe I should fight it. 
but then I started thinking, but I have such a great thing going on now to, with YouTube where I can set my own you know, rules. I'm creating something. This is all me. I'm not following somebody else's rules. I'm. It's stressful that I have to create. It's stressful that I have to uh, figure it out all on my own. That's stressful, but I'm in a good place. It's, it's, it's nice that I, like at two o'clock in the afternoon or 11 o'clock in the morning, it's like if my mind is like not wanting to work, like I get tired, I can actually just take a break. Um, but it's really affecting me in the fact that I don't get out. I am not getting out and and it's it's causing the depression to get worse because I'm falling into a, a, a I'm falling into like a um, I can't even think right now. Back into my like in a bad habit basically where I'm just staying home. And that's that's it's like this vicious cycle of staying home, not interacting with people. So therefore, you get worse at it. The anxiety and depression gets worse because of that. Um, you don't you start losing relationships and all this stuff. And it's just like this bad bad deal. I'm gonna turn it to here. Um, so that's kind of what's going on with me right now. And I'm talking to you guys. And and I know this is probably like a shorter video to be quite honest. This, and I'm talking to you guys about this. And this is stuff I would talk to my uh, counselor or my therapist for. And since losing my job, since, resi since resigning, um, I don't have the health insurance and Cobra is very expensive. So I've been putting it off, which is not good. So I haven't been able to uh, use my therapist anymore. I still have medications. And it just seems like the medications are only taking the edge off now. It seems like there's such a high level of stress and a high level of, let's get in the shade right here so we can just get, we can chit chat. I'll park at Chick-fil-A and get myself a breakfast and start the day that way a little bit later, but there we go. Okay. But uh, it seems like it's taking the edge off only. So I have a feeling that if I wasn't taking meds at this point, I'd be unbearable, to be honest. Um, I, I'd be in a way worse spot. So I'm actually really happy that I did seek help before things took a really big shit. You know what I mean? Um, I'd sought the help because it was it was going a little going a little low on that point, but it brought me to a really good spot. So when it did happen. I was in a really good spot. I wasn't in a low spot when it happened. So, um, I had bullet points here, but I'm not even looking at them. It's just, it sucks. It, it really does. And it's causing the anxiety and depression to get worse. And when I think of that, it's like, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to just say that and be like, Oh, that, you know, that's just the way it is. No, it's, it's not. And so I'm, I'm bringing this up to you because like, I'm, I'm sure there's times where this might happen to you. And I want you to look at me as an example of either what not to do or what to do, <laughs> depending on how this all turns out. Um, so I'm just, I'm trying not to dwell on it because the therapist, the few sessions I had with her, the four sessions I had with her, she, uh, when you think about something, that's what's going to happen. So like I can mention that there's a big blue elephant and now you're ima you're imagining a big blue elephant. Just the fact that I said it. So if and now you're thinking about it. So if you think of if you say something negative, think of something negative, it's going to be there. If you think of something positive, say something positive, it's going to be there. So I'm pretty I'm thinking really hard about the positive about resigning and having this as my new career. And the positive is I get to be home. I get to, you know, set my own hours, but I can be creative for the first time in a long time. I can focus on this. I can do stuff that I feel like I can help others with. And I, and it's great that I'm able to focus on that and actually not be hurting too bad when it comes to money. I did take a huge pay cut, benefit cut and all that stuff and retirement. Um, but I'm in a better, pl I'm in a good place. I, I, I have a job. And then the, there's that, but the negativity is I'm not social anymore. I'm not going out. I'm not, I mean, it's the depression's getting worse because I'm not going out. So in order to find the solution to the problem, it's like you have to find the problem. And I think the problem 
is that I'm not socializing. So I want to start doing more meetups. Um, not just, not just so I could meet you guys, but because it's going to help me. You know what I mean? It's going to help me socialize a little more. And, uh, if there's some of you that are dealing with this right now, it'll help you socialize a little more too. Um, and then on top of that, it's going to help out, you know, I'd love, I still want to meet you guys. Uh, it's not, <laughs> I'm not, not doing it cause I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Um, but so it's going to help me out in multiple ways doing the meetups. So I want to start doing the meetups as, as often as I possibly can, just so I can socialize and just so I can, uh, you know, get out of this funk that I'm in for the past few weeks. And just want to let you know about that. That, that, was, that was just an update. Uh, that's my Friday. The Friday vlogs are, are straight up just mumbles, uh, <laughs> rants and, and whatever. But I just want to give you guys an update. Um, I'm going to start doing more uh, stuff um, on Fridays when it comes to uh, talking about mental health issues, not just my own. Um, I'd like to help out and maybe do some research. But if you want to join the Discord, we do have a great community there. We were getting a lot of cool stuff going on in there. So we talk about mental health stuff and I, and I share a little bit or I try to, I've been having to, my staff has been prying me because they've noticed that I've been a little distant. So that's good. It's good to have that support structure and, and, and everything. So thank you guys, um, for doing that. And, uh, I'm wondering what this guy's doing. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get some breakfast real quick and then I'm going to film like six videos. So it's going to be a long day. It's hot. That said, I hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the Discord, all right? I'll see you guys in the comments, in the YouTube comments. All right, bye.